got a cockroach. So there he is, he's squirming. And then there's another cockroach right there. Scurry, scurry. Hi, I'm Riley Crawdad Hunter, and tonight we'll be exploring Phoenix, Arizona on a trail. So, tonight we're gonna be going out in these big mountain ranges over here. And what we're gonna be looking for are some animals. And what, it's really hot right now. It's like 98 degrees. So we're going out there right now. So all we have to do is go down here, across the street, and more over there. There's a trail that we're gonna be hiking on. We just got on the trail, and as you can see, it's pretty rocky. So now, we're just starting the adventure. we're gonna get a little farther out. These creatures would be scared to be out here in this area because like bugs probably wouldn't mind it, but other animals like geckos, like lizards and reptiles, stuff like that would be scared to be down here because they would think it's stuffing big trying to eat them probably. So we're gonna head up this mountain right here we're just walking and it's very hot. If you can see down there, it's more canyon area. So this is kind of like a big canyon down there. So it would actually be better to go down in the canyon because if you think about it, all the animals would be, want to be on in lower ground because when you get up higher, it's probably gonna get, get a bit hotter. So we just found a pretty cool cactus right here. It does have pretty sharp spines, but if I can just tap it a little bit. See this? That is where a bird pecked. This is why they have these spines right here. So to protect anything that's trying to get in, to get water, because these things are filled with water. Jeez, I have to be careful. This supplies water for all the animals out here. All these things basically are is just a big plant full of water. There's actually a type of cactus that you can eat. I did do that before and I got spikes in my fingers and my tongue. Very uncomfortable. Aren't those the fat aggressive spiders? Oh, that's wild boar poo. It's rounded. And it looks very weird, not like coyote poop or mountain lion poop. And there's not really anything that would actually take that big of a poop out here. Definitely not a dog. So it's wild boar. So we definitely know that a wild boar was through here. The Sonoran Desert is a very hot place, which makes it a great place to find lizards, snakes, and all that. Like a lot of species, a lot of famous species are known, known to be in Arizona and in the areas by Arizona. See, in there, we'll see. So there's a lot of brush and stuff for hide, to things to hide in like boar, rattlesnakes, like like there could be a lizard right in that tree. If I, because they're camouflaged, this environment is the best place for these types of animals because, they're, because it matches their patterning which makes them hide and so it's a great environment for these animals and what you have to be careful out out 
when you're out here at night of wild boar because they can't attack because you have to be careful if you see one just go back around the trail or if you really want to keep doing the trail just go around slowly there we go so that's a pretty oh whoa i saw that stuff shoot out oh gosh now i can smell it you just got a stink bug this is actually the biggest stink bug i've stink bug i've ever seen pretty big so there he is let him go we found one of the like this is incredible we found super rare creature a wild boar right up in there we want to stay back because they're pretty aggressive yes i think we should back up a bit more some people have been attacked by wild boar and they've been they've had bad injuries so we we want to give a respectful distance to these animals so we might want to stay on this side of the trail if we're going to keep going to the trail i don't feel comfortable right now because it's more on this side i just got back from my trip and we figured out that the animals that we were seeing are actually called a javelina they're a type of peccary and their foods are um, termites maybe some other bugs like that and um, grubs uh, and one of their favorites is pickly pear which is a type of uh, cactus that grows and it's red if you ever see it and it is on top of the cactus and they just eat those and if you see how our teeth are in line because they have big canines and every time they close their mouth the teeth sharpen every time they close their mouth and if you look on the ground here so here's what a deer track would be like that's what a deer track would look like but these, this is a javelina track. So it's gonna come out a little bit more, like kind of stick out a bit more than a deer. And they're also known as a skunk pig, which is what they're sometimes called in different areas. They're called skunk pigs because they have a gland on their back that if you, and it smells really bad, but um, they rub it on each other to um, identify each other. And they usually live in packs. And if they're cornered and they can't go anywhere, they probably could charge. So just be careful if you ever see one. Uh, back up a little bit and uh, move out of the area. And that's basically the best thing to do. They are actually native, which is surprising. Wild boar are not native, but they're similar. They're cousins, sort of. We had a big encounter. It was very, very scary because they because they can be aggressive. But it was pretty cool getting to see an animal like that. So yeah, it was. It's just very rare to see one of those animals. I'm Ryan the Crawdad Hunter, and I'll go outside and explore the wilderness.